The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN just after 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We got about 24 minutes to go until the start of trading. You have markets picking things up in slightly red territory. You get the S&Ps off by just two points. You get the NASDAQ 100, we're off by nine. You got futures rolling from Friday till Sunday on these charts, so you're showing higher prices, but nonetheless, slightly in the red across the board right now. The Dow off by 15 points and the Russell off by two. Bitcoin? A little bit of volatility there as well. You do get a roll as well, but that is some negative prices. We hit 45000 on Bitcoin, pairing some of those gains. We're off $2,600 right now. You're trading at 42255 Crude hovering right near $71 right now. You get the price of crude trading at 7108 down about $0.15. Cents. Gold with a little negative volatility, one week removed from that spike high to 21.52 on the future Sunday night. We chopped around at about 20.40 for most of the week, a little bit of lower action Friday on that jobs number with everything going on. We're sitting slightly under that price point right now in gold, trading off $6 at 2008. You jump over to notes and bonds, quite the move on Friday. So what is the 10-year yield? Checking out the 10-year yield right now as we jump around, you got the 10-year yield. 4.27. We were at about 4.15, I think, coming into that jobs number. On Friday, you get lower price, higher yield, the 10-year off a little bit lower yet again today, 110.03. We'll see how the market handles higher yield coming at you today. You jump over to the dollar index, DXY. When you get higher yield, you get dollar strength usually. The dollar spikes to 104.26 on Friday. We pair those a bit throughout the day, and we're trading right now at 104.13 for the dollar index. You jump over the volatility index as we kick off trading. 13.09. Now, what do we get? We get some inflation data this week. We just got the jobs number, and we got a Fed decision two days from right now on Wednesday. So all eyes will be on the Fed. Seems like they will be on a pause. The only question right now is how quickly they're going to cut next year. That's the question in the market. We'll see if it plays out that way. Uh, but yeah, that is the question in the market. All right, where do we kick things off? Let's talk a little bit of rates on Fed Week, man. December 11th, two weeks till Christmas. You got your Christmas shopping done? Two weeks till Christmas. Uh, and this one's talking about debt-strapped companies. But I bet it has to do with the banks to a certain degree, too. And that's what a lot of people were wagering early on, saying... You know, not right now when the market's made the shift, but earlier saying, man, the Fed, if they keep pushing these numbers, right, the balance sheet on the banks, as we saw with Silicon Valley Bank, that it was only going to grow worse. I mean, Bank of America, how many hold to maturity securities do they have on their balance sheet? That only gets exacerbated as you raise rates higher and shrinking maturities leave little breathing room for some businesses and also governments as they break down here. Yeah, um, global debt refinancing costs. Shouldn't be surprising that you're talking about soaring, right? In basis points, I mean, look at the deals they were getting. Refinancing costs, you've been saving money since 2008, okay? Yes, we've had a little bit of a pullback. You go to that December number, you're talking about 126 basis points is what global bonds average yield minus the coupon on outstanding debt. Basically, the refinancing cost that they're dealing with, that's well off the spike high that we had. What was it? When rates were at 5%, you're talking about 187 basis points. You're talking about 126. It would be pretty remarkable if we roll back over pretty quickly to a negative number. Because how does that make sense, right? You're dealing with comps in terms of when are you going to be saving money to refinance on the debt that you have that's most of the time. The only time you're going to be saving to refinance is if you were pushing those numbers out in the last 24 months, right? Something like that. Yeah, 2024, this is from the US, uh, the chief US economist at Morgan Stanley, Ellen Zentner. 2024 is a transition year. It's a turning point for the economy. It's a turning point for monetary policy. But what does that mean? It's a turning point from growth to recession, question mark. Is it a turning point from strong growth to slower growth? Are those the only two questions? That's the part I wanted to get to in this article, right? Are those the only two questions, whether we're going to slow to a recession or just 
slow. Because that's a tough one across the board, man. All right, let's jump around to some of the FANG stocks, see how we kick off the trading. We got slightly lower, lower prices, but pretty calm market, all things considered. You got Apple shares off a little bit this morning. We're trading at about 195. This thing's been strong, man. A week ago, we were trading at 187. Amazon shares off a bit as well. We're trading at 146, down from 147, 42. That's going to be a percentage share cut on Amazon shares on the open. Interesting to see how we open, man. Those two we kick it off with negative prices. Microsoft has a $4 haircut. Pretty remarkable. You get the NASDAQ 100 only off by nine points when, what, you got Microsoft off a percentage point, Amazon off a full percentage point right now, Apple off, what, four tenths, five tenths percent, something like that. Let's see how NVIDIA is doing this morning. NVIDIA on the positive by $2. Jump over to Google shares. Quite a week for them yesterday to 140. You back off. Uh oh. All right, we got to restart our, an unexpected error. Not good, Thinkorswim. Come on. Let's see. We're booting it back up. As we jump through the start charts, thankfully, I uh, – there we go. Let me just log back in here. And we're, we're coming. We're going. And we're almost there. What? All right, I guess we can just continue. Up to 140, back to 135. Uh, Google pairing some of those gains. We continue some of those chip stocks, right? AMD soaring higher today, this morning. They're going to open by about a buck fifty higher as well. You jump over to Tesla shares. Tesla this morning up by about uh, 20 cents, give or take. No huge dramatic action. And we jump over to Meta shares. They're basically flat after their trade higher. Jump over to Netflix. Some of these high flyers of the year up a bit. Disney with some choppy action. Coming off the lows of 89 bucks, you're sitting unchanged basically this morning, off by about 10 pennies on Disney at 92.63. Let's jump over to that gold contract, take a look. So gold, we got dollar strength. We got a little bit of higher yields coming at you, okay? And this is the consolidation we're dealing with here. It's going to be interesting if we get a trade lower, but what would that mean, okay? What would drive gold lower what would drive gold higher there's a lot of impetuses i agree with my dad right now in terms of lower yield probably coming at you man you know these numbers have been pretty rosy we'll see what the fed has to say this week on wednesday but they are going to need to cut they are at five and a half percent almost they could bring their fed open market committee policy down to four and a half percent and still be ultra restrictive. That's four cuts. They could bring it down to four and a quarter to four and a half and still make a legitimate case that they are restrictive and that they are still fighting inflation. Remember that argument when you hear the chairman talking on Wednesday because that's going to be the dilemma here. And if that takes place, right, we've already seen a little bit of a recoil, but there is room for the 10 year to pull back in yield if they are really going to cut to that degree. And then what would that do to the dollar? Right? In theory, that would weaken the dollar a bit, gain strength in gold. So if gold's going to pull back to any certain degree, what's going to be happening in the dollar and yields? That's a question I ask myself. Stay tuned, folks. We'll talk about some of that. We'll talk about some of the equities that we have moving this morning as well. We'll be right back. Get ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We get the S&Ps down by about two points right now as we kick off the trading week. We got a Fed decision two o'clock on Wednesday, and some of the action going on today. Let's jump over. How about Macy's? There's a pop for you from 1750 up to 2150. Um, two investment firms have offered to buy Macy's for 5.8 billion dollars. Let's pull this headline over there. Our Coast Management and Brigade Capital Management offered to buy Macy's for $5.8 billion. The offer values the retailer at $21 a share compared to $17 at the close. Quite a quite a brand. And I mean, look at where they're getting this thing. Look at this. $21 bucks from Macy's. Cheaper than you would have had to pay at market prices from what is that, 2017 to 2010, and that's as far back as I go. Pretty remarkable, 21 bucks, right? Uh, nonetheless, we'll see how that plays out, and what are they trading at right now? Let's see, $20, so they got a, a dollar under the offer is what they're trading at right now. And they would be willing to offer a higher bid based on due diligence Well, the group would already be paying a premium for the department store, which has struggled to keep up with online competitors. I mean, they're paying a premium for sure. But your premium is only what it was trading at at the beginning of the year, and things might be a little weak on the consumer side. Nonetheless, Macy's trading higher by about $3.50 today. Um, some of their competitors trading higher as well. If people want Macy's, maybe they want, uh, they want some of some of this beaten down industry, right? I mean, check out Nordstrom's, right? 16 bucks down from 83, down from 67 in 2018, down from 47 in 2021. So Nordstrom's from 1635, you're up by about 70 pennies. That's three, 4% pop for Nordstrom's. Kohl's gets in on the action as well this morning, trading a bit higher. Yeah, they're all beaten down. You know, if you're looking to get in this, let me look at Kohl's, man. Kohl's touching $20. You know, you did it during the pandemic low. You did it this year, and you haven't done it since uh, 1998 before then. I will say, man, I go in Kohl's. Now, they have Sephora in there, which I think is a brilliant concept. One thing that's interesting in the mall, we go to us nearby in Lakeland, Florida. 
you have the enormous coal sign. My phone's right there somewhere. You have the enormous coal sign, and then you have Sephora right next to it, almost as big as the coal sign itself, right? Trying to play on that relationship. Everything very expensive. Let me see who's texting me. What are we doing? Yeah, I knew it was going to be my dad. <laughs> He's talking about it might be a, uh, they want the real estate, and they're probably going to do a lease back. He's chiming in. He's always listening. Be careful. Uh, the Coles deal, what is interesting, though, is that, boy, they are ultra expensive, man. Ultra expensive. And I don't get the feeling of being in an ultra expensive store. It's a little bit interesting how that goes. Um, they're trying to pitch premium prices, but I feel like I should be walking into a discount retailer. You know, I walk into a Dick's Sporting Goods, at least. You know you're paying a little bit of a premium at Dick's. You're at the big mall. I mean, the one by us, it's the Brandon Mall which is a beautiful mall. They got a cheesecake factory. They got everything in there. At least I feel like I'm walking into a premium store. Kohl's, I don't get that feeling. I feel like they charge premium prices. Uh, nonetheless, you got Kohl's trading higher by about a dollar as well. All right. What else do we have going on? Let's talk a little bit on Fed Week about home ownership and lease payments. The math for buying a home no longer works. This is from the journal out, uh, yeah, this morning at 5.30. Now, it's interesting here, okay? I mean, check out the chart. The chart speaks for itself, okay? You're talking about average monthly new home payment, $3,300. Now, what's remarkable is, is that really you shouldn't be paying more than about a third of your income to that level. That is still, if that's a 30-year income, that's $10,000 a month. That's $120,000 a year. Pre-tax, just cutting it by three. Now, you can see you spend a 30-year gross income on your home. We all know that if you're making $120,000 a year, man, you're not taking home $120,000. Average monthly new home payment, $3,300. Average monthly new lease payment, $2,100. Right? Now, what is interesting in this conversation, okay, that you don't factor in here, is depending on how much equity you're paying off versus just interest, right? How much you paying off actually of the loan on a monthly or yearly basis because that number is important because that's basically a savings account, right? Every dollar you pay for a lease, there's no value, okay? When at least you're paying a mortgage payment, and yes, you got to do it over 30 years, and boy, those early years do not pay down a lot of the equity that you owe. Um, but that money counts in this conversation, and boy, it's it, it's probably can't it's probably not enough, right? At this time, in terms, of you got to make up a thousand dollars. Okay, if you're only paying off five hundred dollars in equity a month on a cash flow basis, of course you're getting hurt because cash flow is just three grand versus two grand. Can you afford it? If you can't afford 3,300, it doesn't matter how much you're paying off in equity because you can't afford it. But boy, there's startling numbers. The Fed looks at that as well. And I wonder if we got some, I mean, you know, my dad's listening. He's out there. He's telling me about the market. It's a tougher market than it has been. That's for sure. And these things matter across the board. Now, median sales price on existing U.S. single family homes. I mean, it's absolutely remarkable. You're talking about 100% since 2013, 2014, 100%. And in the same time, we've had rates double, right? You go from even cherry pick in 2014, 15. I'm not talking about the, you know, 3% mortgages. I'm not talking about under 3% mortgages. Just going from, a, you know, 35 to a 7% mortgage. So you have interest rates double over a period of nine years. You have the home prices double over the period of nine years. Um, yeah, and the interest skyrockets as, as you know, you talk about on a retirement basis. And these are, you know, at 3%. So this is the total cost of a mortgage for a $400,000 home at different interest rates, okay? At a 3% interest rate, I don't think you're getting a 3% mortgage anytime soon, folks. At a 3% interest rate, Okay, you're only paying 165,000 in interest. You jack it up to a 5%, you're at $135,000 extra in interest. You see that? You go from a three to a five and you almost double the interest. You go from a three to eight and you 
more than triple your interest, which is what we basically hit. So they're stark numbers when you see them like that. <laughs> Man, these are, these are, I didn't make it this far down. But check out how much money you can afford for your mortgage rate. Wow. So a $3,500 payment, this is remarkable. So at, at 3%, a $3,500 payment is gonna get you what? $750,000 house? At an 8%, it's gonna get you under a $500,000 house. I mean, we just know the numbers, but when you see them, man. First time buyers, tough deal being a first time buyer in this market, man. Rates soaring, prices soaring. When we come back, folks, we'll talk a little bit about uh, cash as well as it's Fed Week. Your cash is earning 5% interest. Is now the time to move it? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. You get markets open. We're slightly in the red on the S&Ps by five points at 46.54. The Dow catches a bit, 
up by 50 points, 36,695. The NASDAQ 100, slightly in the red off by 17. And the Russell, positive by two. So a little bit of a mixed market so far. We jump over to crude, trading right at $71. You jump over to that gold contract, off by about $9 this morning. We jump to notes and bonds. Slightly lower price, but no huge movement right now. You get the 10-year off by about four ticks. You jump over to the dollar index. If you're trading gold, you got to keep track of the dollar index. Just hit 104.20. We're at 104.15, up by about 15 pennies. Let's see how the dollar yen is doing after quite the volatility last week. I mean, how about it, right? Did you see this one coming? Not a lot of people, man, um, in terms of, boy, you've had a pullback. You had that real drop off last week, December 7th, from 147 down to 142. That's a daily. You put it back on a 10-minute chart, you almost got it all back, man. You can make the case you might have to get to about 147 to get that back from the dollar yen. Huge moves over there. All right, so let's talk a little bit of cash. So this out from the journal, uh, Yes, this morning, your cash is earning 5% interest is now the time to move it. So they generalize a bit here, but boy, this conversation is going on with many right now. Investors consider taking on more risk ahead of possible interest rate cuts. And what this talks about is the annualized investment returns, depending on when you invest, around either the last hike, the pause, or the first cut, okay? The time to do it is in the pause. The numbers speak volumes, okay? Now, Americans piled into safe, guaranteed return provided by cash and cash-like investments. And there's something to be said here, okay? The market has soared, but risk-free, 5%. Now, yeah, you, you cherry-pick any of these lows, okay? Um, let me back things up a little bit further even. Absolutely remarkable. You got to go back more than a year to that cycle low. Whew. Crazy, right? Um, but let's say you got out of the market somewhere in the middle of the chop between May of last year and, you know, January of this year. Let's say you had a range of 3,800 to 4,200. Okay, I'm just ballparking. I'm playing with numbers here. 4,000 is a very real number for where this thing kind of oscillated around. You got down to 3,600. You're up to 4,200. Maybe you call it 3,900. Right. The point being, if you call it four thousand, right, let's just say you sold out of this market. At. You know, four thousand in September, October. OK, the market has defied all odds. Let's remember that one first and foremost. OK, the market has defied all odds. You were taking substantial risk in the market at that time. That risk did not materialize. It doesn't mean you weren't taking the risk. OK, you were taking the risk. We had unknowns at that period of time. We now know those variables that decreases the risk. You were taking risk by being in the market. The point being, you know, you could have had 200 free S&P points basically getting out of 4,200. You could have made 5% from September to September. We're already three months after that. So you're doing 15 months, right? So you got an extra six. Maybe you made 6%. Maybe you made 6.5%. Yes, the market ended up returning 15%, okay? It doubled you. <clears throat> but there is something to be said of risk-free. We're coming up to these highs of 4,800. But this free money is going away, okay? It's not going back to zero, all right? But we're at five and a quarter to five and a half percent. Very real chance that in the next two years, the Fed cuts by 200 to 300 basis points, okay? That would bring that money market account down to a percentage point of what? Maybe two and a half percent, maybe two and a quarter percent, something like that. So many people are having that. Now they talk about money market funds and high yield savings accounts. Each had inflows with households adding more than 651 billion to the money market funds in the second quarter compared with last year. All right. A driving decision was those big numbers, five and a quarter to five and a half percent, man. People got money and they start seeing the free five percent dropped into their account and they have any substantial amount of money. Boy, it matters, right? Um, this is the part I want to get to. There are signs some investors have already started making the move. That move is, okay, and they're talking about, they have, this is a chief investment officer at investment firm Baylor. He's advising clients to move more of their money into stocks and longer-term bonds before the new year, a longer-term bond, any maturity over 10 years, 
and selling some of those shorter term securities, okay? This is all predicated on the belief, folks, that we are kind of over the hump of inflation, the Fed will be pairing. We know that even the chairman has told us, okay, and he's gonna speak Wednesday, it'd be interesting to see what he has to say, that we're not over the hump yet, and we're not. They're still at five and a quarter to five and a half percent, okay? If we were over the hump, they would be cutting. They're probably gonna pause. They're not gonna cut it just yet. They have not given the indication. It would be too dramatic of a shift. There's no reason why they wouldn't give us the indication if they were thinking about cutting this time, okay? But total money market fund balances have recently dropped by three billion since peaking in early November. More individual investors are moving from short-term bond exchange traded funds to longer duration funds. I think it's happening, okay? And remember that that's only, what did I just say? Three billion? Yeah. Three billion, and what was the number for the quarter? Six hundred and fifty-one. Okay, so it could be the early stages there. When you look at three billion, you look at six hundred and fifty-one for the quarter. Um, yeah, and you can still have cash in your portfolio, of course. Households held 17% of their financial assets in cash or cash-like investments, such as money market funds or CDs in 2022, the highest share since 2012. Not surprising at all. All right. In the world of oil, Oxy buys Crown Rock. Now, this was reported uh, last week. Let's see how Oxy's trading, or even the week prior, right? Oxy up by about half a percent. A little volatility on that news, up to 56.85. See how some of those oil companies are trading. Chevron down a bit. ExxonMobil, they dropped just a bit as well. NASDAQ catches a bit. We're up by 20 points, 16,328. Let's see how Apple is slightly in the red on the open. Oh, boy. What do we got going on here, man? We got the NASDAQ 100 up by 20. We got Apple diving lower on the open by almost $3 from 195 to 193. You jump over to Microsoft shares, they're off by 1.5% right now. Amazon's off by 2.2%. What's going on? Nvidia's off by 1.5%. Yeah. If anybody knows what's going on with the NASDAQ 100 and why it's up 33 points right now. Meanwhile, we have uh Many of the equities headlining that. Meta shares. What is going on here? Do we have a total rotation going on where I'm not seeing it? Is somebody up in the den? Yeah. That is quite a drop off of Meta shares ahead of Fed Week. Meta off by nine bucks. All right, we got quite a market. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to jump through these equities when we get back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
tfnn.com educating investors will the s p 500 continue to climb for bold trades on u.s large cap stocks in either direction trade spxl spuu or spxs directions daily s p 500 bull and bear leveraged etfs direction leveraged etfs an investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective risks charges and expenses before investing a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares to obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing an investment in the fund is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Right now, we get the Dow up by about 26. You get the S&P flat, NASDAQ slightly in the red by 31 points right now. And the Russell surging higher up by about 12. I was restarting my thinkorswim platform at the break there just to give it a little bit of a refresh for the heat map to make sure it was up to date. And unfortunately, oh, it's, uh, it's not starting back up for me just yet. We're going to give it another shot, man. It's telling me it updated. I updated earlier. Um, if you are trading on that platform, I would not close it down right now because whatever's happening when I tried to restart it, I can't get the charts back up. But that's all right. We'll jump around. we got a few stories we can talk about. Well, this thing thinks it's just thinking, folks. It's just installing update is what it says, but usually it never takes this long. Apologies. Uh, okay. What else do we got to talk about here? Let's see what we got pulled up. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of focus of the Fed this week. Could talk about this article. Um, it almost speaks for itself. When bond yields dropped, everything rally kicked off. Stock bonds, crypto, and gold are surging, sparking worries of a fleeting sugar high. And this is individual investors turning bullish as the markets rallied, okay? And the shift you've seen over that five weeks take place. And it really took place, though, over the course of, like, November 1st and November 8th, right? And then we're just there. And now there's 47% bullish optimism, 25% neutral, and 27% bearish. Meanwhile, you were at 50% bearish on that November 1st meeting. Man, things can change so quick. And remember how quickly they can change, folks, because, yes, we have the narrative right now. We're going to get Chairman Powell's words on Wednesday. Um, but that narrative can change as well. Yeah, that's going to be a bummer if I can't get the charts back up for the rest of the show. But I do have some articles pulled up that we can talk about. We talked about Oxy. Let's see what other equities we got moving today. Yeah, they're going to talk a lot about the Fed, man. Let's see, Nike's a little bit higher today. They got an upgrade from City. I tell you, I actually got some Nikes. I bought some Nikes recently. Got them delivered. Uh, I think I may return them. They just don't fit so well. But I'm a fan of Nikes. Best Buy, they get an upgrade. I tell you, I was at Best Buy recently for their Geek Squad. Boy, that's a money-making business they got with the Geek Squad, man. You know, I have a warranty on a laptop I had in there. Had some service, had to get done within the three-year insurance period. But it's amazing how much they charge and how many people come in for what is are normally mundane activities, right? But whether they're just not technology aware maybe they're a little bit older um and they service all that stuff and boy geek squad even booking an appointment man they were busy those people working snap snap let's see yeah i think this one's not coming up it might be done uh snap shares are trading higher well as well as they get an upgrade all right well we got a few minutes while my thinkorswim thinks for itself uh and what do we got folks it's a big week at tfnn it's the last week of the tfnn holiday tiger dollar sale Man, Christmas is in two weeks. This sale runs for one more week. It ends in six days. 
It ends this coming weekend, folks. Sunday, December 17th, we've doubled all the bonuses. You can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good for all TFNN newsletters, services. If you've never tried them, folks, you just apply them once to your account, whether you're on a monthly subscription, a yearly, whatever you're subscribed to. You want to check out Tim Ward's webinar coming up this Thursday, The Secret Science of Market Tops. You want to check out Basil Chapman's webinar coming up a week from this Wednesday for opening call subscribers. You sign up for the opening call. Uh, you plan on going to any of Larry's live trading events. You plan on going to any webinar we have. Signing up for any newsletter. There's three options to choose from, okay? You get a 20, 30, or 40% bonus, whether you spend 500, 1,000, or 1,500. You spend 1,500 bucks, you get 600 free Tiger Dollars, so you end up with 2,100 2, Tiger Dollars that you can use at TFNN for any newsletter or service. And as I mentioned, you apply it once to your account, and they are used automatically. Yeah, so if you are using Thinkorswim, do not close your account, because I'm not sure what just happened there. Um, for any reason, if you don't have to, I'll try I'll try to force it closed or something. It's not cooperating. That could be a bummer, man. As we all know, right? Yeah, just trying to install an update. All right, I'll restart my computer after the break. Uh, but nonetheless, check out the Tiger Dollars, folks. They run through this week only. If you're an, if you're a current subscriber out there, man, you can lock in those savings today, right? Get your Tiger Dollars, assign them to your account. Every forward transaction, whether you're on a monthly recurring subscription, six month, yearly, automatically they get used, and you add 20, 30, or 40 percent for that holiday sale. And as I mentioned as well, this Thursday. So my dad talks to Tim Ward on Tuesdays, Thursdays. He'll talk to Tim tomorrow afternoon on his program as well as Thursday, I think. And he's got a 90-minute webinar. Now, what's cool is we got Fed Decision on Wednesday, Tim's webinar coming up on Thursday, The Secret Science of Market Tops, How to Identify Market Tops, 90-minute webinar in there with Tim Ward. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be talking about how to find the market top and uh, what kind of data he uses. He's got some ratios in there, um, but he's got his system. He's going to go over it. He's going to talk to Tom about it on Tuesday. Check that out on the front page of TFNN. But don't forget, first thing you do, you get your Tiger Dollars. So you lock in those savings. Then you can use Tiger Dollars for anything we offer at TFNN. All right. Let's see what else we got pulled up as uh, we come into Fed decision on Wednesday. Yeah, I was reading this one earlier this morning. Not too surprising. Abu Dhabi. That's the spot for the billionaires, man. Um, What do they call them? Special purpose vehicles, right? Yes, yeah, special purpose vehicles. So 5,000 of them set up in Abu Dhabi, including CZ. Yeah, he might do 18 months, but he's going to end up with $24 billion. So he'll be okay. And uh, Switzerland, they got some competition, man. The British Virgin Islands, they got some competition as well. You got India's Adani, okay? Dalio is setting up there. You got the Russian oligarchs setting up over there. You got CZ setting up over there. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, and as they say, 5,000 special purpose vehicles now exist compared with just 46 in 2016. Think about that, right? Talk about court and the billionaires, man. And there's probably a lot that's not known, which is why they're probably doing this, right? In terms of they say it's not, you know, isn't publicly known where the billionaires move their assets from, why they did so, or what each one contains. But yeah, I would say that that is uh, a little bit of a new Switzerland going on there. Their double tax treaty can help wealthy individuals minimize their tax bill for companies tucked inside the special purpose vehicle, depending on whether the additional countries in which they do business have an agreement with the Gulf state. There's a lot going on. But nonetheless, um, yeah, they're a player, to say the least. All right, folks, let's check back in on the market. Shame on Thinkorswim. I might try and do a quick restart here before we wrap up the program. But we got markets slightly mixed. We got the S&Ps basically flat. Dow up by 16. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming back in three minutes. Don't go away.
ready, Tigers. Thursday, December 14th, Tim Ord is back to host another stellar live webinar. From 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will delve into the secret science of market tops, helping you, the viewer, with how to effectively call market tops in order to increase your success in trading. Tim Ord has developed this understanding over decades of trading and is ready to impart this knowledge on you. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Tim Ord's secret science of market tops. TFNN, educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. I restarted the computer, the entire computer over the break. Still can't back, get back into Thinkorswim, so I'll have to contact them afterwards. Thank, thankfully, I'm not panicking um, to trade. Haven't checked the mobile one. I'll pull that afterwards, but I just spent three minutes getting it all back up, and it's still not pulling back up. So if you have Thinkorswim up, uh, I would not close that now if you are trading on that platform. And, yeah. Uh, what else we got? So checking out the markets right now. Where are we? Let's do a final refresh on the numbers. I'm pulling up Yahoo Finance. Um, that is, that's the first time that's really ever happened to me. So, yes, it's not ideal, but that is one of the first times it's ever happened. I can't really pull it up for no reason. Dow, slightly in the red. NASDAQ off by about, yeah, NASDAQ catching a little red now, right? Those big dogs catching up. NASDAQ off by about three-tenths percent. Russell off one-tenth. S&P off by one-tenth right now. And a um, couple strategists out here. Talking about the 2023 rally. Oppenheimer's Stolthus sees the benchmark rising about 13%. How about that one? 
There's some of the most bullish for 2024. 5,200, sitting at about 4,600. So that'll be another 600 points, about 13% to that number. And that would be 8% above the all-time highs is what they're looking for. And you see how the target's been adjusted there. Well off it at one point, still above it. And then the next article talks about a record highs in the cards for the U.S. Uh, for the U.S. stocks in 2024. So you talk about optimism, right? You talk about some optimism, man. Uh, record high potentially in the cards. All right, folks. Thanks so much for starting your trading day, starting your trading week off here. It's an important week. We got Fed week coming up on Wednesday. Stay tuned. We got our man Basil Chapman coming up. Don't forget about Tiger Dollars, folks. The front page of TFNN. Get your Tiger Dollars. And then check out our man Basil Chapman's opening call for next Wednesday's webinar as well. Have a great Monday, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned for Basil.